ஹாய் ஐ எம் சுஜாதா குப்புராஜு சொல்யூஷன் ஆர்கிடெக்ட் வித் ஏடபிள்யூஎஸ் மினி கஸ்டமர்ஸ் யூஸ் ஆக்டிவ் டைரக்டரி டு சென்ட்ரலி மேனேஜ் யூசர் ஆத்தென்டிகேஷன் அண்ட் ஆத்தரைசேஷன் ஃபார் தேர் அப்ளிகேஷன்ஸ் அண்ட் சர்வீசஸ் ஃபார் தீஸ் கஸ்டமர்ஸ் ஆக்டிவ் டைரக்டரி இஸ் அ கிரிட்டிக்கல் பீஸ் ஆஃப் தேர் ஐடி மேனுவலி கனெக்டிங் அ மிஷன் டு ஆக்டிவ் டைரக்டரி இஸ் அ தேங்க்லெஸ் டாஸ்க் யூ ஹாவ் டு கனெக்ட் டு த கம்ப்யூட்டர் மேக் அ சீரீஸ் ஆஃப் மேனுவல் சேஞ்சஸ் அண்ட் தென் பர்ஃபார்ம் அ ரீபோட் while none of this is particularly challenging it does take time and if you have several machines to onboard then this task quickly becomes a time sink in this video i am going to demonstrate a feature that seamlessly joins a linux ec2 instance to the aws directory service for microsoft active directory also called as aws managed microsoft ad to set up a directory in AWS Managed Microsoft AD, you may follow the instructions provided in the reference here. Upon completion, go to AWS Management Console, select Directory Service, identify the directory that you have created and verify the status is active. Click on the directory ID, make a note of the DNS name and NetBIOS name. These will be referenced in further steps. Let us look at the steps to seamlessly join a linux ec2 instance to a directory created in aws managed microsoft ad step 1 create a service account with the minimum privileges required to join linux ec2 instances to the domain even though members of the aws delegated administrators have sufficient privileges to join machines to the domain as a security best practice i recommend to create a service account with the minimum privileges required to do that connect to the windows ec2 instance where domain administrative tools are set up search for active directory users and computers on the left navigation tree expand on your directory dns name expand on the directory net bias name right click users select new and select group enter a group name choose group scope as global and group type as security click okay next delegate control to the newly created group since this demo uses aws managed microsoft ad select the organization unit where compute objects are created right click on computers select delegate control click on add enter the group name that you just created verify the name and click okay select next choose the option create a custom task to delegate for delegate control of choose the option only the following objects in the folder from the below list select compute objects and select options create selected objects in this folder and delete selected objects in this folder then click on next and for permissions select read and write click next verify the options that you have selected and click finish now create a service account and assign that service account to this group right click on users select new and user enter user account information and logon name my user logon name is linux domain join here select next enter a strong password deselect the option user must change password at next login go next and finish right click on the user account that you just created select add to a group enter the group name that you have created in earlier step and click okay make a note of the user logon name and its credential these will be referenced in further steps step 2 the seamless domain join feature needs to know the credentials of the service account through specifically named secret keys in aws secrets manager go to aws management console select secrets manager click on store a new secret choose the option other type of secrets you need to create two secrets with a specific key name for the first key enter aws seamless domain username in secret key in value enter the name of the service account that you created in step 1 add row enter the secret key as aws seamless domain password in value enter the password that you have set for the service account please note that these two secret key names must exactly read as given here click next enter a secret name please note that 
secret name must be exactly in this format. Remove the section d-xxxxx and add your directory ID instead. In order to get directory ID, you may open AWS Management Console in another tab, go to Directory Services and pick a directory ID from there. Click Next, Next and Store. Step 3. Create an IAM policy that gives permission to read the seamless domain join secret created in Step 2. From AWS Management Console, select IAM, select Policies. Click on Create Policy. On the Visual Editor tab, click on Choose a Service, Enter Secrets Manager and select the option Secrets Manager. For Actions, Expand on Read, select Describe Secret and Get Secret Value. Expand on Resources, click on Add ARN. Enter the ARN of the seamless domain join secret that you just created. To get the secret ARN, you may open AWS Management Console in another tab. Go to Secrets Manager and copy the ARN and paste it in the policy. Click Add. Review Policy. Enter Policy Name and click Create Policy. Step 4. Create an EC2 service role with a policy created in Step 3 and a couple of SSM related AWS managed policies. In IAM Dashboard, click on Role and Create Role. Select EC2 as a common use case and click on Next Permissions. Filter for the policy name that you created in previous step and select the policy. Filter for Amazon SSM. Select Policies. Amazon SSM Managed Instance Core and Amazon SSM Directory Service Access. Click on Tags and go for Review. Enter a role name and create role. Step 5. Seamless Domain Join feature needs an AWS SSM agent version 2.3.1644.0 or newer on Linux EC2 instances. The Amazon Linux to AMI in your region may not have an updated version of the SSM agent. Therefore, create a Linux AMI with the latest version of the AWS SSM agent. To do that, go to AWS Management Console, select EC2, Launch Instance. For AMI, select Amazon Linux 2. For instance type, you may stay with General Purpose Family and T2 Micro. Review and Launch. If you already have a key pair, then choose that or select an option, create a new key pair. Enter key pair name and download the key. Click launch instance. Once the instance is moved to running state and status checks are passed, connect to that instance. In this demo, I am using Mac terminal to connect to the EC2 instance. Use the command m info amazon ssm agent to verify the SSM agent version. If your SSM agent version is 2.3.1644.0 or higher, then you can stop this process of creating an AMI and proceed to step 6. Otherwise, follow with me on manually updating the SSM agent and creating an AMI. To get the manual SSM agent installation command, go to the AWS documentation Manually install SSM agent on Amazon Linux 2 instances and copy the command under Intel x86-64 bit and come back to terminal. Paste the command and change the S3 region to the one that you are using. After the update, verify the SSM agent version again. It should be higher or equal to 2.3.1644.0. Go back to AWS console, select the Linux EC2 instance where you have manually installed SSM agent. Go to Actions, select Image and create Image. Enter a name to this image and click on Create Image. From the left navigation menu, click AMI and check the status of your AMI. AMI creation can take a few minutes, so wait for the status to turn available. With AMI status moved to available, 
now you have all prerequisites ready to seamlessly join a Linux EC2 instance to the domain. Step 6. Launch a Linux EC2 instance that seamlessly joins to a domain exists in AWS Managed Microsoft AD. Go to EC2 dashboard, select Launch Instance. If Amazon Linux 2 AMI in the region that you are working has the required SSM agent version, then select Amazon Linux 2 AMI to launch an instance. Otherwise, use the AMI that you would have created in step 5 by going to My AMIs from left navigation menu and select your AMI. For instance type, select the appropriate instance family based on your use case. Click Configure Instance Details. For Domain Join Directory, select the directory that you have created in AWS Managed Microsoft AD. For IAM role, select the role EC2 Domain Join that you have created in Step 4. Click on Review and Launch Instance. Select the key pair and Launch Instance. Once the instance moved to running state and status checks are passed, connect to that instance to verify the domain join. Enter the command ssh-l user account that exists in the directory at your domain name and the IP address of the instance. Enter the password. Here you go. Your instance is already connected to the domain. In this video, I demonstrated the feature that seamlessly domain join a Linux EC2 instance to AWS Directory Service for Microsoft Active Directory. This complements the existing feature that allows Windows EC2 instance to seamlessly domain join. These capabilities enables customers to move faster and improve the experience for administrators. Thank you.